for the for the fur for the beard what do you um what what, what is it it's faux fur f-a-u-x fur yep. you can buy it in small sections uh from amazon uh you can buy it in small sections or larger sections from uh joanne fabrics or hobby yeah, lobby michael's nice. hobby yeah. lobby yeah and i think this this piece of red beard here was like um you know 10 inches by 20 inches so yeah. you can see where i've cut some out here out. yeah yeah. Right. yeah one of the things that you need to pay okay. attention to <laughs> is is how the how the fur flows so right. if it's yeah. flowing down this way then i want the beard to be here so that it flows down right, right. you know yeah. I, I cut it the other way then it looks really was really strange so um i made one or two that way i was like this isn't right <laughs> <laughs> when now Ward says here. he he gets he gets his fur from a woman's coat at a thrift store. Yep. When you I, cut I that know. fur, you want to separate. Or when you cut it, you want to separate the fur, so you're not cutting the fur off. Right. I make sure that the scissors are going in under the fur and just cutting yes. the backing bit because you want yeah. the fur Perfect. to flow over the over the uh, edges. Yeah. Right. Oh, to help yeah. to help that's me with that, tip. I cut it from the back so I can. See good it. tip. Yep. That's that's something that needs to be broke out. Because right. I yeah, if I would have bought it, I would have cut straight across. Yeah. No. See, and, and, I, and cut, cut from the backside so you can see. Separate the fur. Yeah. Right. I, I, yeah. I just I use a razor blade cutter, you know, and a holder. Yeah. And I just I, I use it. and I just cut it really simple. Just the material itself. I draw out the outline of the beard. And I'll yep. take just the razor blade and just cut on those lines, just just enough to go through the material, and it works great that way too. 